Hello, it's Ruby and today I'm going to be starting a vlog of basically moving back to university and my first few days back. So today it is Monday the 13th. I am back now in Exeter, as you can see, I'm in my university room. On Friday, we went up to North Devon, actually, so we didn't go straight to Exeter, we decided to go to North Devon for a few days with some family friends. I actually did a little bit of vlogging, so I'm going to show you that now. So we drove down to Devon on the Friday night, and we stopped off at the service stations, and I got some melon, because I really like snacking on melon. How good is this on a scale of 1 to 10? Much better than... We are here in Devon! I feel like I've gone back in time. So we used to come to Devon. Every year. Every year. Like multiple I, times a I year. I did first came too. to Devon when I was six months old with you and six your parents months. were there as well. So before I was so before, well, way like before. a year and a half before Ruby was even born. Hey crazy! Have you not been in the pub? No. 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 We're no, yeah. no, no. <laughs> We're here in the park. Last weekend we took all So then the next morning we went to the beach at around 8am. Good morning. Good morning. We are ready. Are we though? I'm so cold. And on the beach we went for a run. Okay, it's quite early. We're here on the beach. It's not actually that early. Why do I say it's early? Then later in the day, we went on another walk, this time to this other beach. We've been fighting forever. Gone over this a thousand times before. number two of the weekend. So I just managed to fall over in the mud and just get mud all over my trousers. Kind of tragic. It is, it's really sad. And we did end up getting caught in the rain for this last one, um, but it was still it was still really nice. I like walking in the rain. Then we basically just headed back, so Mum and I drove up to Exeter. Mum's sleeping over tonight. Making myself right at home. So yes, my mum did end up spending the night um, because it saved her driving all the way back to North Devon after dropping me off and so I filled up lots of hot water bottles for us because both of us get quite cold. So the next day after my first lecture I met my friend Sasha and Blakeney for tea just to catch up and then I headed back to our flat and I made myself a really simple lunch. I've got some kale with some toast and this tomato sauce that I just knocked up. And I had another lecture later in the day at 5.30 and until then I just did lots of work. I got started on studying so here I was doing some lecture preparation for that lecture. So this was the approaches to criticism one and I just read through the readings that we've been set and I wrote out notes and my own thoughts. From, I'm back from my second lecture of the day and of the term and this one was on psychoanalysis It's part of the approaches to criticism module. It was so good I really want to do a module on psychoanalysis next year now, but they don't They don't offer it So I asked the lecturer which modules might kind of contain elements and I'm gonna look into doing those because they do look really really interesting treating the texts themselves as patience of psychoanalysis and looking at what has been repressed and what is unconscious within the actual literature which is so 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 cool i'm just doing some work on that at the moment um just to give you an insight on to, into how i make these notes i will write notes from the readings things that aren't my ideas in lamy pen and then things that are my own ideas i will write in this black gel pen and this just makes it really easy for me to see my own original thoughts when it comes to seminar discussion and writing essays. And we had three readings to read for this. 
My favourite ones are probably the ones on Freud, and especially the one on the Uncanny. Good morning, it's now Tuesday and I've got a lecture very very soon, it's currently 8.30, my lecture stops at 9.30. I'm going to do a tiny bit of work and then I'm going to head off. I was doing some work for the poem and we've been set a piece of reading. This was all about what is poetry and so it gave a lot of scope for thinking about your own perspective on poetry. Here is lunch. I've got a slice of avocado on toast with some red pepper. This slice of taste. So now I'm going to just finish the poetry reading which I started earlier. This wasn't a very long reading but because there was so much scope for thought and personal opinion, I ended up spending quite a lot of time doing this. Leave me stranded, I know how to handle it all. Then after that I decided to hoover because even though I'd hoovered before leaving, it somehow had got really like the carpet was just not very nice. Then I'm really sorry because I realised that this is out of focus but here I was making, I was planning for something to do with YouTube and then I was doing the final reading for the psychoanalysis. Oh there is beauty to enjoy on this road, but even so. I still feel that I'm alone, I'm alone, I'm alone, I'm alone. Leave me stranded, I know how to handle it all on my own. I'm alone, I'm alone, I'm alone. Leave me stranded, I know how to handle it all on and I also decided to finally wind back my clock because it had been showing the wrong time for the last two days and I thought this was actually a very useful thing to do because there's no point having a clock on your desk that shows the wrong time. It's cold. I need to finish this book. So I've decided to get into bed to read because it will hopefully be warmer. I've turned up my radiator higher, which I don't like to do, but I'm actually shivering in here with it only turned up halfway. So I've turned it up, um, got myself a hot water bottle. I'm gonna put, pull up my quilt, all my blankets because I don't know why, but it's cold. Actually, I do know why. The reason it's cold is because it's January and we're in England. Okay, I'm on page 160 of Roxana, and I am not a big fan of this book. It's not really doing it for me. If this weren't for university, I'd probably, I'd probably like skim through the rest of this book. It's very content heavy, like it's very plot driven, and this is the reason I don't like reading Austen. I feel like it's a bit too plot heavy, and there's not enough emotion. I know lots of people have said that I just haven't read the right Austen books and I totally am aware of that and I do want to read more Austen this year so that I can make a more valid opinion about her because I haven't read her for a couple of years but reading this now, fast paced in terms of content but it's not a page turner because the actual writing style is just so shallow. It's just all about what's happening to her 
and the other thing that I don't like is that the character development of everyone other than the main character is very very limited like so it's quite funny in places I mean it's 1670 and it's quite it's cool how modern it is it reads like some beach reads you know summer holiday beach reads the ones that you get for the beach a 1670 version of that but I don't like it I'm gonna have to force my way through the rest of this I wish I were enjoying it but alas Earwax. So then after that I headed to another lecture and afterwards we found ca the campus cat and he's so friendly. So then I went straight to the gym. I'm back now from lectures for the day. It's about 7.30. Um, my lecture finished at 6.30 but I went straight to the gym afterwards and I was planning on working out for maybe an hour but over the weekend I think I might have pulled a muscle in my leg and I also twisted my ankle whilst on this beach run. I'm not sure if it's because of the resistance of the sand or the wind, I don't know, but it really hurts for me to walk on it and I thought maybe if I went to the gym I could loosen it up on the treadmill but that just didn't happen. So I did 10 minutes on the treadmill but... After that, I just, I literally couldn't do it anymore and I was limping the whole way back to my room. So I really regret doing that, but then I also feel good in myself for having done the exercise, so yin and yang. For the rest of the workout, I just did, I spent a while rolling out my muscles because they have muscle rollers there and um, I want to loosen up this leg because it really hurts. And I also went on the cross trainer, did some stretching, sit-ups, that kind of thing. But it was quite simple for kids. My leg really, really hurts, and now it basically hurts every single time I stand on it, which is not fun. In other news, I've had this package come. This isn't gifted, so... Oh, it's heavy. This is Remedy. Remedy is a kombucha brand, and they make really good kombucha. I've tried a few different kombuchas, and this is definitely my favorite one. So... Let's open this up. Life is a winding road, no telling where it goes. I wrote a letter here to a family member. Oh, and here I was doing preparation for the creative writing module that I'm doing. So I had the seminar the following day and I just went through the readings that we've been set, wrote out some thoughts, and we'd also been set a poem, so I did I kind of annotated that and I wrote up my thoughts from that so that I could I'd be ready to discuss it when we came to seminar. The road goes. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. I just read a really interesting article. It was set for the creative writing module that I'm doing and I would really recommend it if you like poetry or film. It's basically about background noise, you know, like folly, the process by which this is added in films. It's so fascinating. So in particular, it considers a man called Skip Leavesay. I don't know if that's how you say it. This is the article and I would highly recommend it. It's very, very interesting. 
I never even thought about it, you know, how significant background noise could be. When you have those moments of quiet in a film which aren't actually quiet, and it's so powerful because it's not entirely silent. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. finish these oats but I want some more frozen raspberries. At this point I genuinely think I could survive just off frozen raspberries. Frozen raspberries are also really good with agave nectar because when they freeze they're usually really sour and they're still good but if you add some agave syrup then it tastes more like them when they're fresh i am actually going to end the vlog now i got back from dinner it was a very early dinner with sasha and blakeney we went to las iguanas it was really lovely and then i popped into paper chase on my way back and i will show you what i bought i spent just under two pounds and I got some wrapping paper for next year. It's this really nice um, 12 days of Christmas one down from 3.75 to £1.10. I also got the cutest gift tags. These are 60 pence, three little avocado ones. Then I came back, I finished editing and filming the video I was doing earlier, did some admin. Um, I got all my work done this morning. So with that said, I am going to leave. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. It's a very mismatched vlog. Let me know if you've got any requests for particular vlogs you'd like me to do. Um, and I will see you next time. So thank you so much again. And I hope that you have a productive week.